be here with Dr. Farzad Hafezi from Zurich, Switzerland. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. I know you have a great talk about collagen cross-linking in the context of infectious keratitis. Can you tell us about where we are in cross-linking treatment for infectious keratitis and what advantages Good morning. It's a pleasure to be here with Dr. Farzad Hafezi from Zurich, Switzerland. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me. I know you have a great talk about collagen cross-linking in the context of infectious keratitis. Can you tell us about where we are in cross-linking treatment for infectious keratitis and what advances that we have to look forward to? Yes, it's my pleasure. Um, first of all, we are very excited about this new indication simply because the number of patients that are affected by corneal ulcers on a global level is so much bigger than the rare disease of keratoconus we have been focusing on for the past 10 years. So the, the primary new indication is bacterial and fungal ulcers. And um, the early lab work was done in 2007 and 8, and the first patients had been treated uh, at, uh, in 2006 to 8. And we have seen that, uh, that we can very well manage uh, coronal infections of bacterial and fungal origin, irrespective of the antibiotic resistance of the pathogen, by using UVA light and riboflavin in the standard Dresden settings. And ever since we tried to increase efficacy, accelerate the treatment, we are down to 150 seconds now from 30 minutes, and we can kill 98% of MRSA, for example, in 150 seconds. That's incredible. Now, how has the technology changed? I know that you'll be speaking about a new type of chromophore that aids the collagen cross-linking treatment. Um, yes, indeed. We have identified a new chromophore that adds one more log unit of efficacy, so we can, we can kill 99.9% .9 in 120 seconds. But moreover, the technique still is very young, and to date, just a proof of principle has been given and a few studies with a rather low number of, of subjects has been included. So the next step is a prospective randomized multicenter clinical trial that compares this new method with the current standard of care which is antibiotics. And this study is ongoing. We have started the multicenter trial in 15 countries involving 17 sites and we are expecting first results in 2016. That's outstanding. We really look forward to the results. Uh, from a clinical standpoint, do you think that this technique of approaching treatment for microbial keratitis is appropriate more so for larger ulcers uh, or, or are the smaller ulcers also candidates for this type of treatment? That's, that's exactly where the question, the clinical question we are focusing on. It will be, it will be much more efficient in small ulcers. And combined with the vision of someday treating at the slit lamp, we want to, we want to get these ulcers in the very early stages mm -hmm. because then the, the, the depth of the ulcer still is defined to less than 300 microns. And the study is also focusing on ulcers that are up to 2 millimeters and less than 300 microns of depth. That's fantastic. And, and after the collagen cross-linking treatment, uh, are people still going to be taking topical antimicrobial agents, whether it be antibiotics or antifungals, to supplement the therapy? In a clinical setting, I strongly believe so, but we might be able to drastically reduce the length of the treatment. For the sake of the study and because it's a non-inferiority study versus the stand current standards of care, we do not give any antibiotics after treatment. So it's just light and the chromophore and then daily observation. If the patient gets worse, then we of course would switch to antibiotics. And the pilot study has been done in Sweden in 2011 and out of 16 eyes, 14 eyes did not require any antibiotics after treatment. Two eyes needed two or three days of topical antibiotics. Well, it's such a fascinating new innovation in this technology, and I'm so glad you're able to speak with us about it this morning. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you.